you are looking for a spot to view Christmas lights this year, look no further than one Kentucky man's house. All right, I'm intrigued here. He's inviting everyone to drop by his home in Burlington to see his music synchronized light display. And at this point, it's not just his house. He's also taken over several of his neighbors' homes. Luke Jones takes us along tonight for, for a tour. What you're looking at is Justin Kafka's life work. You have to have a passion for it. 50,000 Christmas lights, all different colors, shapes, and draped in different patterns. This is just a little path people can come up through and take pictures. It's his eighth year drawing crowds to his Deer Run Drive home in Burlington. Each year, the show gets bigger and now spills into two of his neighbor's yards. Uh, planning, it's to about pretty much the whole summer. It's then a race to get all the lights up. Everything has to be in place at least a month before Christmas. Right after Halloween, this is priority. I get these up so they're ready to go usually by the second week of November. For the past three years, Kafka's lights have been set to music. You can hear it if you tune your radio to this channel. He controls them with this computer-connected box. Just syncing the lights to a two-minute song can take some serious time. Four hours for yes, two minutes. For, yes. <laughs> and this is going on like five hours And that's a only night. 16 channels. He's got all the Christmas staples. Say hi to Santa and his icy friend. Oh my God, is this frosty? That is frosty. Across the street in the neighbor's yard, Rudolph and a much bigger frosty. There's also this. Yeah, I got a penguin and the snowman having a snowball fight. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yes. Looking at it, I wouldn't have thought that. Up close, you can't really tell, but if you're from a distance, it's like, oh, now it really pops out. This 20-foot light tunnel gets plenty of foot traffic. A lot of people walking their dogs through, I probably see at least 10 people, if not more, a day. And if you're stopping by, Kafka hopes you'll consider spreading some holiday cheer to others. He started a GoFundMe for a few families he knows who've fallen on hard times. One of them, one of my friends, they had lost her job. So I know she's been off for quite some time now and just struggling a little bit for the holidays. And for the rest of us, these lights can at least brighten a few days. In Burlington, Luke Jones, Local 12 News. That light show starts each night at 5.30 and runs until 10.30 on weeknights and 11.30 on weekends. The lights don't come down until January, so you have plenty mm. of time to get out there and see those.